Hey guys, welcome to the second video, uh, second installment in the tutorial series for making maps for Mordau and subsequently pulling all of your hair out. Um, one thing I forgot to detail from the last video is when you save your map, if it's going to be a um, free-for-all map, which for the sake of this tutorial it will be, uh, it's good to actually um, type FFA. Oh, sorry. Oh my goodness. FFA underscore tutorial and save. Um, now we're going to have a couple maps here. Just delete this. If you haven't done anyth anything to it yet. Um, oh boy. I don't think I. Okay, yeah. My wireless keyboard is just a little bit uh, dinky. Okay. All right, let's begin. This is a follow along tutorial. I'm not going to be showing you how to create new skins for weapons or whatever. If you have a good understanding of how to create a map so far, then good on you. That's awesome. You don't need to watch my videos. This is for people that are pretty much brand new and especially for people that would rather follow along in a tutorial than read through uh, this guide here which is very extensive and very detailed and a bit overwhelming whenever it loads because my computer is slower than dirt and if you don't have an SSD for this, uh, it's good to invest in an SSD for this hobby, if you can even call it a hobby. This is the unofficial SDK guide. This has a lot of information in it. Uh, if you're fine with reading through and, you know, going through stuff like this, fine print, uh, by all means, do so. Um, the guide's a work in progress, but you will find a lot of good resources in here. And so, let's begin. Let's begin. Okay. First things first, you know what I like doing with this? I like just deleting it. And there we go. Uh, this is your content browser down here. This is where you're going to find all of your um, static meshes and blueprints and what have you. Um, for instance, if I want to find all the static meshes, or maybe not all of them, let's say a certain um, kind of static mesh. Let's go with a... Uh, uh, wall. Type in wall, and the various kinds of walls will appear before you in all shapes and sizes and textures, and they will be at your disposal to place into your map. So, for means of this map right now, let's just grab castle wall, simple gate. Um, and it is placed into my level here. Obviously, there are some invisible walls that can be, uh, if you just wanted a freestanding arch like this, um, you can always take another wall and, my goodness, that's not what I was going for. It's also not what I was going for, but you get the point. You can place another wall down and cover up the invisible uh, spots here. For means of our tutorial, uh, I would go ahead and delete this BSP that's here. And let's say we're not quite in the mood yet of uh, placing down landscapes, so I'm 
not do that, I'm going to uh, type in type in rubble pile, and we'll place down a rubble pile. For the means of this video, we will um, also a shortcut. If you press the spacebar, you can navigate through these three options. This is the rotation. This is the enlargement or delargement. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, or scaling, and then this is your uh, movement, X, Y, and Z axis. For the purpose of this video, we will scale this up, and we'll make a walkable surface. Uh, you can hold Alt. Oh, my goodness. Hold Alt, grab here, and you will duplicate. Alt, grab, duplicate, Alt, grab, duplicate, Control, click, Alt, grab, duplicate, voila, we have a walkable surface. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to expand this out in more directions than one. I'm going to make my playing working area bigger. When I was first starting out, this was my means of creating landscape. I didn't. I was too lazy to learn the landscape system, so I created these. Uh, we got some holes and stuff, but it doesn't have to be pretty. Next, um, for purposes of rendering, uh, you need to navigate to volumes grab a light mass importance volume, place that in, press space till you reach the scaling option, and you want your light mass volume to be covering your play area. This will cause the rendering um, of your level, or the lighting at least, not to exceed these parameters and therefore reducing uh, not only the size of your map, um, in terms of megabytes or gigabytes if you're crazy uh, but we'll, it'll save you time on the rendering process okay I will see you in the next video step-by-step step-by-step -step videos